If you want to become a world famous chef, you must know this recipe for spaghetti and pesto cream. First and most importantly, we got to choose the right noodle. There's at least five different types of pasta in the world, so choosing the right one can be difficult. Since we're making spaghetti, I prefer to use the noodle called spaghetti. Now the next critical step is choosing the right pot. If your pot is too small, like this, the pasta can overflow and cause an explosion. To be on the safe side, choose a nice large pot like this. Next, fill the pot half full with water and turn the stove to high heat. Now here's a pro tip they don't teach you in chef school. Sparkling water. By adding in one bottle of sparkling water, you're helping to bring out the texture in these naturally wonderful noodles. When the water is boiling, gently break your pasta and place it into the pot. And now it's time to make the pesto cream. Now for this pesto cream recipe, you're gonna need the following items. An emulsion blender, cheese, salt, lettuce, and pepper. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is rip off chunks of this lettuce and shove it into the blender. You want it to be about three quarters full. Next, you want to take a big tablespoon of your cheese and put it right over the top. Then simply add a pinch of salt and a few good grinds of pepper. Perfect. Then you want to hit it a few times with the emulsion blender just to pack it down a little bit. And now it's time for my secret. Even though we're making a pesto cream sauce, don't use cream. That's right, my secret ingredient oat milk. Since pasta is made from oats, adding just a fourth cup of oat milk into the pesto is really going to help that natural flavor of the pasta pop. And now you can hit this again with your emulsion blender until the desired consistency is achieved. Now look at that beautiful pesto sauce. Now if you noticed, I only poured out half of the pesto cream. But Chef Scoobs, what do we do with the other half? I'm gonna show you right now. So we're back over here with our pasta where we've pulled it off the heat because it's been done for the past few minutes. Now, great recipes are all about flavor. So while the pasta is sitting, we're gonna pour half the pesto cream right into the water. Now this is gonna help that pasta soak up that flavor even more. After a few minutes, the next step is to drain the pasta and then put it back in the pot. From here, you wanna add in just a touch of olive oil and a pinch of salt. Give the noodles a nice good stir, and now it's time to plate. Gently pour the noodles into the bowl, and then you can clean up the edges. And now with one final touch, you can spoon that beautiful pesto cream right on top of the pasta. You can finish it off with a little pepper, and you are done. I'm Chef Scoobs, and I hope my kitchen tips make you a better cook. It's delicious.